I'm going to demonstrate the process of creating a simple woodcut. First of all, you need a block of wood, such as this. Many types of wood will work, but it's, it's uh, important to remember that soft woods, while they're easier to carve into, they don't hold as much detail as hardwoods would. The most common uh, woods used are fir, birch, and cherry. Uh, plywood made from that. This one's actually birch. Normally, we want to um, sand the surface of your wood and then seal it with acrylic varnish. And this will prevent your ink soaking into the wood instead of releasing onto the paper when printing. Now my wood is already sanded and sealed. And as you can see, it already has some color on it because I used it to print a solid block of color before. These are all the carving tools I have and they all make different marks. Sharpening your tools is crucial. The tools quickly become dull, so sharpening them every five minutes or so make carving so much easier. Just rub this honing compound onto the letter like this. And always go in one direction when sharpening. You should see it get kind of silvery as the tool sharpens. I have the drawing here that I would like to carve and print. I'm going to use graphite paper to transfer my drawing. But you can also just draw directly onto the block. So I'm just lining it up. Now that my drawing is transferred, I'm going to start carving. It's pretty intuitive, but it takes a little bit of practice to get a hang of it. I'm going to go around and um, do the outlines first so it's easier to carve out the bigger areas. Carved, I'm ready to print. Uh, you need cotton based paper such as Mesa. It will work very well. So I'm going to go and soak these because wet paper prints nicer. So I'm just placing Jesus. them in this one and leaving them here uh, while I ink my, ink my board up. So you want to make sure your area is nice and clean. I'm just spraying vinegar and wiping it down. Okay. So now I take out a little bit of ink. I'm going to use red first. And I'm just spreading it out. Now you want to get a nice and even layer for the ink. I'll 
So we want to get a nice and even layer here. It's also a good idea to put some loose print on top of it to protect the felt. There's our first print. So now I did a ghost, which means I didn't ink my plate. I'm just using the ink left over from the first print. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. To clean up, I'm gonna, first of all, scrape up the stuff. Ink as much as I can so it's easier to clean, and then I'll be using just um, vegetable oil and vinegar to clean up the glass. We're done. 